Here's a question, Kelly. I don't know that, but I will just um, tell you that one of the workshops that has become increasingly popular that, that we created in this past year is one that I call gender bilingual communication. Mm. And it is, it, it, I, it's a lot of fun and it's one that I've done with both men and women as well as with, men, with women alone. And at this point, I've probably got a list of 25 things that we've all agreed are You mean that a word means that, something to a man and to a woman? Not just a word, but mm. also the way we deliver the word. Yeah. Women tend to use more adjectives, tend to be yeah. more descriptive. Uh, the way, it, uh, well, the, the, the like, well, the adding those extra small words. I am often guilty of using the word just or a little bit. Only. Instead, uh, only, yes. I fall into or, the you know category. I'm, <laughs> you apologizing, know, I'm, apologizing before we yeah. say what we're going to say. So all of those are, those are, are attributes of, of, of a group that has had less power. Mm. And as we take our fair and equal share of power, we're going to have to like stop that, right? <laughs> do you think that also accounts? Do you think it also accounts for the way you know young the girls up, the end up, the sentence up, 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 up turn, yeah. So that you uh, I mean, is that suggestive that we're tentative about what we're saying? I threatened to throw my daughter out of the car if she did that. She stopped. Well, there's good reason for these things too, don't you mean? I mean, I'm sorry doesn't just mean uh, that you're actually apologizing. It also means I hope I'm not hurting you or I hope, you know, you're hearing this. It's, uh, unfortunately, it is a pattern and the words do mean, you know. If they're used sincerely or if it's used. When you go to another country, you learn a few <laughs> words of their language before you go because you want to be able to make yourself heard and understood. You want to be able to find the bathroom. You want to be able to, to get what you need. And I see it as being just like that. And that's why I call it being bilingual. Because, because you want to be able to speak your language and you want to be able to speak the other people's language too for very practical reasons. That's, that's my take on it. I don't know if you have another no, no, I think way of looking at it. I think that's very interesting. I'm yeah. processing that. Uh, okay.